As you guys would have been watching along with us, we've done a fair few of these cutouts and some with varying degrees of success. We were just looking up there at that crazy fridge which has the kitchen bees in it and they're actually rocking along fairly well. They weren't even really pissy even though it's shit cold. So this time I thought, well, hell, there are this lot here that cut out of the sweat box bees are a fairly big, big friggin' nest. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe this time I might try and shake all the ladies down onto the new frames, put the queen excluder in, put all their brood on the top and then they can raise that brood and get the hell out of there and actually start afresh because normally I try to do it over a you know, period of time takes two or three here and there and all the rest of it and it, and it still ends up a shit show so I thought well maybe we'll give this a crack something different what's the motto here at the bush bee man though no? might be good might be shit but we'll find out together They're a little bit excited over there. <laughs> golly, golly. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Hey, cheeky babes. I'm back again to annoy the shit out of you. <laughs> the ladies are thinking, not those bloody polar bears again. What the hell do they want now? Look at the mess they left last time they were here. Oh my goodness, the house is upside down. We don't know what the hell happened. And there's all these funny bits of extra wood in here now. And what do they want? Talking about polar bears, apparently we've got a new blooming shirt coming out. This is gonna depict polar bears and a bush bee man. So, so next time you wanna just go over to the web page, the bush bee company, click on the merchandise. And you never know, you might be able to get yourself a polar bear bee suit. No, it's not a bee suit, it's a bee loving shirt. So I'm just thinking what we might do is we might just put their sweat box on the ground here and then put the bees on top of that and then put our new box where they're meant to be and shake them all in there, put the queen excluder on, pop that lot of frames in the new, this is an eight frame box so we have to change that up and plus it's got a fixed bottom but it's not much of a box anyway as you can see the top's a bit sad so we're going to get rid of that, that's on the fire but that's all good so we'll, yeah we'll do that, shake them all in here like I said Put the queen excluder on, let them rear out that breed, brood, blah, 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 rear out that brood, and then hopefully it won't be such a shit show going forward, but who knows? <laughs> we'll see in them. We'll see in a month. Just give them a little bit of smoke. I probably would have let her settle down for another day or two, but the cameraman's got to go home to his lovely wife, so anyway. The things we do for you viewers, I tell you. Here we go anyway, we're gonna put that down there. And we're going to have a bit of a play. Mm. Yep, so we're going to put it back here where they have been because we can't move the actual hive site, otherwise they'll really get bloody concerned as to what's going on. But at least this will get them organised and hopefully we'll be able to get them in some nice new brood chamber and we'll bugger all that off and we'll get the honey super going and we should be all good. Fingers crossed. Actually, maybe legs crossed as well, just in case. <laughs> and then I might be able to get my bloody pickup machine out the shed. <laughs> Nah, we'll do that. Right, here we go. Here's the big reveal. Let's see what's under this lid for a start. Wow. They are just a little bit busy. <laughs> anyway, I reckon that'll be the place to start. We'll tap them in first of all. We'll have a bit of a brief look at them as we transfer them to see if we can see her. It's obviously not going to be on that because that's not on. Oh. Oh. 
Now you see how they're getting organised to make some new room? They're making their chain so they can make the wax. This is when they're, they're starting to build it out because they're trying to make join together and share the wax around. The next thing you know, hang on, I don't know, well, it's too early because they haven't been out long, long enough to do it yet, but they're getting organised so they're going to make some more room because obviously they're fairly packed in this little box. We're just trying to make sure we don't put the boss up the top because that's not what we're trying to achieve. Oh, pull around too much, Mr. Bush Bee Man. Mystery this way, isn't she? <laughs> I don't know whether this is a good idea or not. We'll find out. Ah, hell! It was a good idea in my head. <laughs> whether that means anything. I'm thinking if I was going to do this again, I probably would have implemented it right from the start instead of stirring them up again. But I don't think this is completely obliging. Probably not completely obliging, they're getting a little bit stirred up. But anyway. excitement. We've all we've got now is the lasses that are running around out here. Hopefully she's in there now. <laughs> well, I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. We'll tip what's in that box on the top and then we'll put our thing on, our clean excluder on and then we'll come back in a week or two and see what sort of mess we made. They said upset, Mr. Bush Bee Man. There's not much bloody fun. You were here yesterday being an idiot. I do actually have their best interest at heart. Even though no one would quite believe me that's living in this box at the minute. <laughs> I might just go and get the brush and sweep them over the bump. Just in case, I think they're just the returning blooming half bees, but they're all out running around trying to get some nectar. I'll be right back. Fairly sure they're all the ladies just flying back from their excursion and excitement. Wondering what the hell happened yet again. around the coffee table. Can you imagine the coffee table conversation? What the bloody hell happened? <laughs> I say she's going to be very unimpressed. But hopefully she'll start laying, they'll build her out some new comb, it's a nice new brood nest. Then we can get rid of all this ugly old brood nest and we'll be all good. Or we might have just muddy wrecked shit. I don't know. 
Like I said, it sounded like a good idea in my head. Oh dear. <laughs> Here's a puzzle of it done. One more in there and be all good. We have to bring a lid. <laughs> oh, hell. I don't think that's a very good colour combination, but anyway. I think we'll um, worry about this strap later on. <laughs> there again. They can't really get much more annoyed with us. We might as well put their strap on. Well, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Put their strap on. We don't get any ideas out there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Mind you. The alternative for you was a real flash anyway. So you'll be right. Hopefully. I'm hoping it was a good idea. I'll put that back in front, haven't I? I've got me the wrong I've got myself the wrong way around. See the things that happened? I just gotta turn myself around so I look pretty. I think we could safely say that they've been very stirred up the last few days, these poor little girls. But anyway, now they can calm down, regroup, get organised, and sometime very soon they're going to get moved, so that'll be another excitement. But anyway, oh, they're starting to get angry now. Let's get out of here. Run for the hills!